Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh LLC's newest class on entries. This is a very exciting class because it focuses on specifically how do you enter a stock. Just like this beautiful door here, how do you enter through the door where you walk straight through. In stocks, it's not quite as easy. Sometimes it's tricky to get the entries correct in a stock when you are taking a position. It's a very specified way to trade when you're looking at trading stocks in the market. And your entry counts. Where you are entering the stock really, really matters for a correct position size and for you to get the proper risk to reward. So welcome. My name is Melissa Armon. I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. This class, again, is about entries. And if you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com, or feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information. You can also go to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype, and like me at any one of these places. So this is a class designed by me, Melissa Armo. It's on entries. It's a course focused on intraday technical entries. Learn where and how to accurately take a position in a stock. Understand risk and proper sizing. Learn how to do ads to the position to maximize profitability and trading gains. And this is very important because if you take a position in a stock too late, you could still make money in it if you're in the right direction and the trade is going your way. However, you may not get the right risk reward. So learning how to do entries really matters for paying yourself properly in the market. And not only to make money, but also to exit something if in fact it's not working, to understand where the entry is supposed to be and what a stock needs to do to hold itself so that it does work, it is good, it is going to continue to work. Because the worst thing you could do is stay in a trade too long where you actually could have exited it and saved yourself money in the loss when you realize that something isn't working. And if you understand what the correct way to look at something is, you'll understand the incorrect way to look at something in reference to the entries. So let's start out today with a quote. It's a quote from Confucius. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. And you know, the interesting thing about trading the market is that I love, love, love the stock market. Uh, it took me a long time to find something that I love to do for a living. And once I did, I just never looked back. And even though at the beginning of my career trading, it was challenging for me because it was losing until I figured all these things out. The entries that I'm teaching the class, my gap strategy, everything at the beginning, I still loved it. I loved every second that I traded. And obviously that love turned into success for me as I started to figure all this stuff out. And then began to make real money in the market. And now I've been doing this for six years. So I think it's important for people to find a career that they love. And if you have a job that you don't love, then it's time to consider maybe something like trading. Because trading is fun and it's very exciting. And, uh, and it's actually a great career because you don't have to work a lot of hours in the given day. And you get paid very well as well. So we're going to talk in the entry class about entries. Entries in what? Entries in gaps. Okay, so they are gap entries. Here is a golden gap. This is BBBY. This is back from the 26th of June. Nice gap here. Beautiful move. And you can see here how this had the big, large move down that happened early in the morning. It actually set the low of the day, I think, around 9.45 or so, very quickly. And then the stock ended up reversing. But it was a nice, nice bearish gap that had a good setup in here and a good entry if you knew how to trade it, which I did. Now, looking at BBBY for the core trade, if you did BBBY back here for the actual entry on the uh, day that it first got back here at the beginning of this calendar year, which was in January, it was early January 2014, you could be in a core trade for BBBY, and actually $60 was the first target, uh, and it continued and went down here and actually broke $60 and went all the way down to $55. So you can imagine if you had the correct entry in this trade here in BBBY back early in the year in January, how much money you could have made. Now, this did take six months, but look at the profit here. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's really something. And this is a really nice move for a stock like this to happen in this time period with no backup, no let up at all. I mean, it almost just plummeted. So when you are trading, okay, when you are taking a position in stock, there's a level of commitment there. You have to actually be committed to the trade, to the trade itself. Why do you have to be committed? Because you're risking money. So that commitment comes from a definitive 
placement where you were actually taking the position and you were taking it and you were in the stock. Sometimes when I take a position and I'm taking an entry in something, it's almost like I attack it. I just pounce on the thing. And this comes from having a commitment to trade. You must have a commitment to trade in to get in the position. And part of this has to do with obviously understanding what to do, and this is what I'm teaching in the class. It's very important. How can you be committed to the trade if you really don't know what you're looking at and don't even know if you're taking the right entry? It's also about decision. Decision. I decide. I am deciding right now. I like this. I have 100% conviction. One of the biggest issues facing traders is a decision on their entry in a trading position. Gosh, this is really one of the biggest things. And the second biggest issue is how much risk they want to take in the trading position. This needs to be defined and it needs to be defined clearly. I'm ever amazed since I started teaching people how to trade how much difficulty people have in sizing. Uh, this is how much risk they want to take in the trading position and sizing is a big, 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 big factor. And I never thought that that was going to be something big when I taught people because I, I personally really have never had a problem with it. But I have a background in math. And uh, so I really am good with mathematics and arithmetic, and I can figure out a lot of things in my head. But you do have to get good at that with, with trading. I actually have a quiz uh, for the entries class. It's a quiz, a math quiz, that people have to do that take this class. And it helps you get good at numbers in your head. And it's one of the things that I realize that people need uh, to become stronger traders. So you've got to get to the position where you want to take away the anxiety of where to enter a trade. And how you're going to do that, you have to learn what to do. Okay, You are taking the trade. You are taking the monetary risk. You, boom, you're doing it. So the only way to get away from the anxiety okay, of the fact that you're taking the risk is to have the level of commitment to make the decision to know where to enter it and to believe that you are correct. This will help you have less losses. If you've got more focus, you have less losses, okay? And also, you will not take as many entries. What happens is many people do this. They aren't sure exactly of the entry, so they take it, then they kill it, then they retake it again, then they kill it, and they're in and out of something five times, all in the same direction, by the way, and they didn't know where to put the stop, and all of this is churning and burning their commissions, too. So you can really see how it's problematic for your P&L, even if you end up going on and make money in the trade, you churned and burned yourself up and down in five different positions, and it ate up your commissions to your commission costs and just takes away from your profit. And if you, if you lose in the trade, then it really takes away from you have the losses and you have the commission costs, and they can add up. So a lot of people uh, have losses in their trades, even if they get something in the right direction, even if they're looking at the right pick, because they're in and out of something a couple of times because they're not exactly sure where they should be in it. And they're in it, and then they kill it, then they take it, then they kill it, then they take it, then they kill it. And I know this. I know people are doing this. In fact, if I, if I put a camera in front of traders and videotape them to see it, it's probably crazy some of the activity that people have when they're doing in and out of stuff. And so I don't, I don't trade like that. I don't trade like that at all. Okay, I'm very definitive. So you will make more money with the right entry. You will. And so it's important. It's important to get that entry right. It's important to understand that you will make more money with the right entry. And it's also about seeing it live in the market. I'm extremely good at seeing entries at immediate live time in the market. It's a skill that I've developed, and I actually think I, I'm one of the best people out there that can do this. I don't know anyone actually personally that can call entries uh, live as well as me. It's something that has to do with me and green that I'm reading the price, and I think it's the amount of hours that I've spent actually trading even though it's been six years, and six years isn't that long in a lifetime of, of traders that are trading for years and years, but the number of hours that I've spent observing charts, see, trading live in the market and doing it, I'm way past that mark of 10,000 hours or whatever it is where you need to do something to become an expert. And because I've spent so much time trading the open, specifically that morning period of the day, I've gotten really good at it. I also think I'm just meant to do it. I mean, it's just one of these things that I'm just meant to do because I do it so well that there's almost no other explanation for how good I can see and call things in live time. And uh, I think it's one of these things that you can get good at, uh, but you definitely have to learn it. Seeing entries live in the market is one thing that traders need to learn. And uh, since you know, I know from doing this and meeting up with people, it's one of the most challenging things that people struggle with. 
Uh, people can learn a strategy. They can learn how to look, read a chart overall, the directional bias. But people really, really struggle with the entries. I think it's one of the reasons people like being in the trading room with me. So this is the reason that taking a class on redoing classes with free retakes is helpful. On the entry class, you get free retakes. You can redo it. Um, you can redo it as many times as you need to once you sign up for it the first time. And it's helpful because you get used to seeing things over and over and over again. You've got to get used to the patterns and the setup so that you can press the button when they happen live. And you have to learn what to do so that you can press the button to make money. Because if you don't press the button, you won't make money. Position sizing correctly for profit and less loss. Ooh, here's the one I was talking about earlier. Not every trade can be taken with the same size. Boom, that's it. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. You will have a P&L that is swinging right and left all the time if you have the same position size in everything you do. You can't trade like that. Proper position sizing according to risk is a learned skill and it's important in your trading. It matters so you don't risk too little or too much. You, you can't risk too much in one trade and then the one trade fails and then you risk not enough in the next trade and that trade goes on to work. See how it screws up your P&L. It really matters so you don't risk too little or lose too much. I'm serious about this. It matters so you make money with less risk and trade with less stress and with more conviction. And all you need to do is learn how to do it. That's all. Now, I also talk in the class about doing ads to maximize gains. Okay, I also talk about this too. Very important because sometimes a stock will be setting up. It gives you the opportunity to take more of the position. The target still makes it worthwhile for the risk reward. And you got to learn how to do this because you can make more money doing this. So learn also what is confirmation. What is confirmation in a trade? What is the confirmation that something's okay to take at the setup? Learn what an entry really is because many people don't know what is right or wrong or where to put the stop. And uh, you've got to learn that. You know, you just have to learn this because otherwise you will maybe only take 100 shares of something. Something that you could have taken 2,000 shares of. Or you'll take 2,000 shares of something that you should have only taken 500. And it will reflect in your monetary results. Even if you get the trade direction right, you have to get the most bang for your buck in the trades that you take. Why? Why Why? Why am I saying this? Because you don't get amazing trades every single day. Some days you get amazing trades, and some days you get okay trades, and some days you don't get anything. So when you get the good ones, okay, the really, really, really good ones, the highly rated professional gaps, the ones that rate high in the, on the scale, you, you have to take advantage of them. You have to take advantage of them. You have to get the most bang for your buck, and you got to know what those are, and those are the ones you're doing ads on, and those are the ones that you're going in aggressively, and you have to know the difference. I mean, you just, just do. Success comes with having the information of what to do, and it, this is so valuable. If someone had given me all the information that I have right now that I used to trade six years ago, my life would be so different. The last six years of my life would have been so different. Uh, but it didn't work out that way for me. I taught myself, uh, and the market really taught me a lot as well, and it was live experience. But I can't tell you how valuable having information is. It's extremely valuable. And that's why I charge people for my time when I teach the class. It's my time and the information. And, and uh, information is extremely valuable in reference to trading the market because if you have the right information that a stock's going to do something on the given day, you can use that to make money. Now, how much money will you make? Well, it depends how much you risk, but if you have the right information and know something's going to work, if you have a lot of money, you can risk it and you can make a crazy amount of money. And so people pay for information. They want the information. They want to know what something's going to do and they want to know if it's going to work. So also in the class, I'm going to talk about how to use price information with precision, something that I do a lot, very, very important. Time is vital in entries as well. Okay, The timing that you actually take something matters. You can't just take something at any, any second of the day. And I'm also going to talk about examining position sizing. Okay, Position sizing is important as well. When you are in a trade, again, and you want to take something, you have to know how to figure out where to put the stop, the size of the bar, so you know what your size and your risk is going to be. And so we look at this in the class too. And again, it's about defining risk. How much money do you want to risk per trade? How much money do you want to risk per day? How many trades do you want to take a day? You need to know this. Calculated risk requires preparation. This guy here is completely prepared. He's prepared to go and get the cheese. He's aware of the fact that this might hit him on the head 
in his goal to、uh, grab the cheese and get the cheese, but he's prepared. He's prepared if by chance he misses getting that cheese fast enough before this jiggy comes back on his head. He will be protected, and if it happens to hit him just a little teeny weeny bit before he grabs the rest of the cheese, he'll make it out alive. And so he's prepared. He's calculated the risk. It's worth it.、Uh, that piece of cheese will probably last you about two weeks, and so he's going to go for it. He's got the helmet on. He's all ready to go. He's calculated the risk, and he's prepared. Start getting specific instead of having a fat finger on the keyboard. A lot of people I know that are big into risk taking risk have fat fingers. That means they don't size themselves. They take too many trains. They overtrain. They don't use stops. I mean, this is all the fat finger phenomenon, and a lot of people have it actually, and it's just a killer to your trading. You can't have a fat finger. And we're also talking in the class about money management again. Very important. Have a plan of action of what you want to do and how much you want to risk. Now let's look at some gaps here. This was Microsoft. Microsoft happened back here. You can see it had a beautiful move at a bearish gap. Very nice gap. This is the kind of thing you would have wanted to do to trade to take a correct entry in, and if you did, it went down to a beautiful target here at thirty-one dollars. Nice trade. Let's look here at Sina. This is a bullish gap. This is not a bearish gap. It was a bullish gap here. This had several entries in it on the day. Many stocks that play out that are good professional gaps will have several different entries in it. Personally, I like to take the morning entries because I find they have more profit. But a nice bullish gap in this Sina here as well. And Cross, Cross had a bearish gap here. This is back in May. Look at the move that this has had. Beautiful, fabulous. Look how large and extended that is. Again, many, many different entries can be found in a bar that looks like this because the stock pretty much ran all day, closed almost at the low. This doesn't happen often, but when it does, you really want to be able to, you know, get the most out of this. And in earnings season, which is coming up in July, third quarter, there'll be a lot of. Opportunity to get several different entries in stocks of the day because a lot of stocks are going to have big moves exactly like this crest in earnings season. It's just typically how it works because you get more gaps and there's more interaction. Where people are looking at things or they're watching things and they're more invested in what's happening with their money. And in the summer, particularly, people don't have any problem just dumping their positions in stocks if they want to because、uh, they just want to get out of stuff and they'll maybe wait and reinvest their money in the fall. Entry should not be taken like a bet at a casino. Obviously, this guy here has a fat finger. He has no concern at all for the amount of money that he's risking or the buttons that he's pressing. And you don't want to be like him. He needs a little bit more maturity here about what he's doing. And it's really not going to casino when you trade. So learn what is the right thing to do. Years ago, you used to go to the library to study. I remember that in college, you go to the library, use the computer, you'd study. You know, now every day everything is a virtual for people. But you really got to get serious about this, like back in the olden days, where you'd read your charts, you'd study your books, you take a class. I'm very old-fashioned in my teachings in reference to the way that I teach. People have to take notes, and they have to focus and listen and think about the things I'm saying, and it's important. And that's how you integrate information into your brain, by the way. So risk to reward. Where are you taking a trade? How much are you risking? What is the framework or infrastructure in the chart for taking the position, and have you defined your risk in the trade? We're going to go over this in the entries class. Risk to reward is important. You want to make more than one to one. For every penny you want to risk, you want to make more than one penny. You have to determine this. This has to be set preset before you even take the trade. You have to figure it out and calculate it. And having the right infrastructure is similar to having the right foundation of a home. If you don't have the right infrastructure or foundation, which is a strategy in reference to your entry, then you don't. Then you're not in a solid foundational home. You're not in a solid home. You're in a you're in a TP. You're in an igloo. You're in something that could break or fall if the wind blows over. You want to be in something that has a solid foundation, and therefore you have to look at the bigger picture. And part of the bigger picture is deciding that hey, I want to trade. I want to be a good trader. I want to do this for a living. I want to make a lot of money. I want this to be my retirement savings, whatever. And you got to say, I'm going to buckle down. I'm going to learn this stuff. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to live it. I'm going to love it. And that this is going to be part of my life. And that's a bigger picture, really, with the market for me and what I'm teaching people、uh, is to embrace it. 
Trading is really for income. Whether it's part-time income, full-time income, or again, retirement, it's up to you. The choice is yours. You do need to know that before you go into your trading and determine your risk or where you're getting out of a trade even as far as holding to a target or a longer-term trade. But overall, on a weekly or monthly or annual basis, you should know why you're doing this. Uh, trading is for income. There's a purpose to it, and that's why you have to take it seriously. And learning how to take correct entries helps you get longevity and consistency in your trading. And you won't make it if you don't have consistency. And how are you going to do that? Not by getting in and out of a trade five, six, seven different times in a day. You have to take it and hit it and attack it, just similar to the way that I take my trades in the morning. Very specific, very defined, very detailed, no question. Conviction in your entries helps you stay on track with your trading, which means staying in the right course, staying in the right path, going down the right road, doing everything you need to do so you can get to the money. And if you want to make money trading, then detail is required. Very specific. This class is very detailed, as all my classes are. Uh, and it's a great course. So if you're interested in the entries course, email me. I'm Melissa at thestockswish.com. It is a class focused on intraday entries and gaps. The cost of the class is $14.99. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. And feel free to reach out to me if you'd like more information. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful evening.